Welcome, Sagittarius. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Yes, I'm back with the case of the X. All right, so we're going to take a look and view. We're going to get the, the X's side of the story and how they view things and how they feel about you, okay? So, guys, go ahead and click the like button, okay? Go ahead and click the like button. Share with your family and friends. If you know somebody who this message may resonate with, go ahead and share it. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You don't want to miss out, all right? So, let's get into some things, okay? Let's get into some things here. Let's let's go ahead and jump right into it. I don't like to waste time, okay? This could be your energy, your partner's energy, but we're going to specifically focus on um, how your partner views you know, views you or views what the situation was or how they feel, okay? So how does Sagittarius X feel about Sagittarius? Oh, they felt like you were their soulmate and they had to let you go. They had to let you go. All right, so we got healing family issues. Someone needs, they want forgiveness. Someone, okay, they could, either you guys are healing, there's possibly issues in the family, but we got forgiving and learning and healing family issues. I feel like they want to apologize or they're looking for an apology from you, but there's definitely like, I'm getting like, someone needs to apologize here. They definitely viewed you as their soulmate, okay? Yes, this is your soulmate, but presently, they we have released your ex. And look how this person is looking like. She's like, oh my God, I had to let this go. I had to let this go. I don't feel like they're too, they're too happy about having to let this go, okay? But they may feel like they needed to clear their energy. And then we got let go of control issues. Okay, so they're done. They're letting the situation unfold naturally, okay? They're letting things go like, you know, they're not trying to control things here. Let's see. Let's get some clarifiers, please. Please clarify these, these cards here for me in regards to Sagittarius' X. Please reveal to me how Sagittarius X feels about Sagittarius. All right, we got soulmate here. Ooh, okay. Six of Pentacles. Someone's, they feel like they're giving you a lot of chances. Okay, because I'm getting the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Maybe someone here has been juggling two or more people. Okay, or someone is very busy here. Why are the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, someone's done. Someone feel like they gave... They feel like they've get, given you a lot of chances and they're done, okay? Like, they really, <laughs> they really believe, like, they they believe, like, this time this is it, okay? They're trying to switch things up, okay? So maybe there was a pattern here. This person kept coming back or you kept going back and forth to this person. Somebody's finally saying, like, they're giving up, Okay? Um, we got release your ex. Why is release your ex here? Yeah, look, look, somebody's having regrets here about some sneaky business. Seven of Swords. Someone decided that they were going to move on, okay, because they don't want to have any regrets. I feel like here with the Seven of Swords. There was some sneaky stuff going on. Let's see. Why is the seven of swords here? Yeah, this that your ex realized that they feel like you're a liar. Okay, they feel like you are a liar. They don't trust you. Judgment means that this is a wake up call. They finally come. They, it's like a final decision. Okay. They've been waiting on some type of commitment from you. They've been waiting for a level up from you. And you may have been coming off as guarded. I'm getting even. There's a stalker here. Okay. There's a stalker here. Someone's been stalking. Someone's been stalking. Okay. 
they have come to some type of realization that maybe you aren't going to change for them, um, something in that nature, but they don't trust you, okay? Let go of control issues. Fitness page. Page of Pentacles. Virgo towards Capricorn energy, but there is like a, you know, small talk, okay? This is the beginning stages. I'm getting someone's not accepting the opportunity. If someone, someone's waiting for, they're waiting for you to reach out, they're not going to accept that offer. If you, Sagittarius, are planning on reaching out to them, I don't feel like they're going to accept your offer. We got the Four of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. They're not interested, okay? They, they don't want this offer, okay? They don't want this offer. They've let this go. Like, they, they're they more in control, okay? They're feeling more in control, okay? They're letting things flow, um, flow as, you know, they're just letting it flow. You got the two of wands, okay? So this is, you know, making plans, preparing. Why are the two of wands here? They're plotting. We got the lovers, okay? It's upright. And then we got the two of cups and the king of wands. This person really loves you. This person cares about you, but it, but there's just some sneaky business going on. This person does genuinely care about you. We got the lovers, the two of cups, and we got you guys' energy, king of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person really does care about you, okay? Um, but I don't feel like they want to put up with something. It's something that they feel like they've been putting up from you for a while. They don't want to do it anymore, okay? They don't want to do that anymore. Now it's the two of cups here. Maybe there's disagreements, arguments, um, just a battle. They just feel like things are, this relationship is a battle, okay? Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer here. But someone here is hiding their flaws. Definitely a Pisces, okay? We got the High Priestess and the Moon and the Queen of Wands. There's this big secret, okay? There's this big secret. There could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries woman involved, okay? So this could be you, your energy or this could be a third-party energy. I'm getting that there's this big secret, okay? There's this secret, Someone's married here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Justice, and they're separated or there's a separation. Someone possibly leaving and saying that, you know, or somebody wants someone to leave, wants someone to separate from, um, leave a marriage. Because I'm getting that there's like a side energy, like a side piece energy here. What is going on? Okay, so let's see. So it looks like somebody went and got a side piece. Somebody went and got a side piece. Y'all click the like button. If this resonates with you, click the like button, guys. We're going to get into some things, okay? We're going to go, we're going to go even deeper. Show me past, present, future energy. How do they view? Show me how do they view? Um, how do Sagittarius X view them? All right, we got something here. We got the snake. They they view you as a snake. What did y'all do to these people? What did y'all do? They feel like you're sneaky. Okay, we got competition. They feel like you're their enemy. You're malicious, and they feel like they got to look over your shoulder because there could possibly be, like, another woman, okay, or another male, another man, okay? Ooh, y'all did something to these people. We got the butterfly, okay? Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth, okay? So they want to see growth, okay? They want to see growth. They feel like you're... Self-indulgence, like you, all you care about is yourself. You're only focusing on yourself, okay? 
Um, they possibly want to see you evolve from that. They feel like you're self indulgent, like you focus primarily is on you, and you don't care about how they how they feel or anything about them. Okay, we got abundance, keeping a positive mindset, manifesting exactly what you want. Okay, but there's a the sense of it is 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 that there is a sense of a third party here. There's a third party. Like, you can have whoever you want. You can do whatever you want. I'm getting that there is an attraction, and they feel as if you've been flirting and dating and hooking up with a third party person, okay? So, like, they're, they're, they view you as, like, a snake. They feel like you could possibly be, like, a cheater or something in that nature. Like, I'm even getting, like, paying for sex with abundance and seduction like you could be um paying for premiums okay you could be paying they like they just feel like i'm getting like sugar daddy cake sugar mama type energy like they don't trust you why is the snake here we got lightning they were shocked okay they were shocked like I said, for some of you guys, this could have been a marriage or because we got palm tree here, which is about stability, home life. And then we have mirror. OK, but they were surprised. They were shocked to find out this information or something that they found out. They were surprised. Like, yeah, and they were heartbroken and they feel like they weren't enough. They don't feel like they're enough. OK, so we got the butterfly. And not enough came back out again. And the chaser. Okay. So they, someone is chasing someone here. Someone is chasing someone. And someone is frustrated in this relationship because someone possibly isn't chasing them. Okay. Like they feel like the, you guys' relationship hasn't evolved to that point to where they just feel like they aren't enough. Like why aren't you chasing me in that way? Okay. They don't feel that connection. They've been watching you too. They've been spying on you. They're watching you. We got separation. They're sad. Okay. They're sad. They're sad. But they're still in the same sense. They're watching you. They're keeping their eye on you. They're keeping their eye on you. Okay. Now let's see why seduction is. I'm getting like, they feel like you pay for sex. Or you were like a sugar mama or a sugar daddy. Or like you come off as that. Like I'm getting like someone's calling a phone sex hotline. Or someone is like getting, exchanging uh, videos or pictures. Um, but it definitely has something to do with someone being very seductive and flirting. And there could possibly be a third party. Like they're watching you. They're spying on you. They're watching you. Yeah, I'm getting for some that there could possibly be like a separation. If there's a marriage, I feel like someone is feeling very like the marriage is broken. Okay, because we have wedding ring, wedding rings, and coffin. Okay. They feel as if something is outdated. We got cassette here. And someone's conditioned in a certain way of doing things or viewing things, okay? And they keep replaying this over and over in their head. Like, they're constantly thinking about this over and over again in their head. And I feel like they're trying to heal, okay? They're going to be trying to heal their heart from this because I feel like they they just feel like they aren't enough for you, okay? They, just, they don't feel... Like they're compensating you enough, okay? So let's see what advice we have. What advice is there for Sagittarius? What advice is there for Sagittarius? What advice is there for Sagittarius, please? 
going to go sit there for Sagittarius. I'm getting for some of you guys, you want to let go of something. But you're looking for a sign. Because we got to look for a sign and let go. Okay. I feel like some of you want to, are trying to let this go. And someone's like, no, I don't want to. No, we can't let this go. I don't want to let this go. I'm getting that. I got remain positive. Listen to your intuition and unlikely. Okay, so why is remain positive here? Okay, so, all right. I'm telling you, we got a spy. Some, they're watching. They're watching you, okay? But someone here is most definitely heartbroken, okay? Somebody is heartbroken. There's Somebody is sad, okay? And they could possibly feel like you are just off the chain. Like, the Eight of Swords is being trapped. This could be mental entrapment. Or this is actually feeling stuck and needing to break free with this Knight of Swords. Okay, so you guys could be feeling like you're stuck in a situation that you want to get out of, okay? And I feel like you're 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 trying to remain positive, okay? And maybe some of you are staying because you're trying to, you know, remain positive, trying to stick around. Or try to keep in, you know, communication with this person. I'm feeling like you thinking about responsibilities. I got the dad card here in the Ace of Pentacles. And this is for some of you guys, this is a, a baby mom, baby father situation. Okay. I think you're thinking about your responsibilities. Okay. Which is very mature. Which is very mature of, of you to do that. Okay. But I feel like someone knows about this third party, this queen of wands energy, okay? Because we got the moon card here and the high priestess again. Could be a Pisces involved, okay? That's part of a third party. We got the moon and the high priestess, so it's definitely something that's being hidden and kept a secret. But I'm getting Pisces' energy, okay? Pisces or Cancer or Leo Sagittarius Aries, okay? All right, so we got listen to your intuition, Page of Pentacles. Something here about work as well, too. Something is moving slow. Okay? Maybe your intuition is telling you to kind of like slow things down. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Capricorn's energy. Yeah, slow down on communication. Eight of Wands is right here. I'm getting like there needs... Like, you could be feeling like there needs to be like a slowdown. Like, things make... We got Cancer's energy. It's in the reverse. So that's definitely like come to a halt. Something, communication has, has came to a halt. I feel like you are debating on, your intuition is telling you to cut off communication. Okay? So I feel like you've been like, here we go again. This energy came up again, came out for um, Leo's energy as well. Someone here, maybe you guys are just playing a film having fun this is friends with benefits energy somebody's just out here having fun okay then we got unlikely we got unlikely oh, okay this is unlikely to pick back up okay we got the ten of swords and the ace of wands okay the ten of swords is a complete ending the ace of wands is a fresh new start okay so it's unlikely that this will start back up again let me see what's the ace of wands here the moon card this could be sexual energy here as well, too. But someone could be feeling betrayed, okay? I'm getting that there is a secret lover here. We got the moon and the lovers. Could be a Gemini or a Pisces or a Cancer. But I'm definitely getting that there is like a secret love triangle here. Why is the moon card here? Yep. Keeping something a secret. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, someone here is being juggled. There's some juggling going on. Somebody got the massage piece or 
somebody got them a side piece or whoever that they were dealing with when they were dealing with you, they're possibly still dealing with that person and somebody else. All right, guys, I hope this message was helpful. Um, if this message did resonate with you, hit me up with a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, subscribe if you're new. If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information is in the drop box below. I am running that special to the end of April. Okay, so the special is $44.44. And... It's originally priced at $67, okay? So I'm trying to help as many people as possible. Contact me via email if you want to book your very own reading, okay? Ciao for now.